In this session, we're going to look at some of the common issues we find when inspecting the safe recruitment of staff in services. We will look at some of the systems you can put in place to help you recruit staff safely. It's a legal responsibility to recruit people safely. It helps safeguard children, reducing the risk of unsuitable staff gaining access to them. It is not acceptable to recruit people without all the required checks having been undertaken, except in exceptional circumstances. On these very rare occasions, then the provider or manager must contact the care inspectorate to discuss the circumstances that make it exceptional. During the COVID-19 pandemic, there have been some short term changes to receiving pre-employment checks before staff start in employment. This has enabled services with staff having to self-isolate to deploy new staff at short notice. During the pandemic, you should refer to our website for the most up-to-date guidance on pre-employment checks. A quick win is an improvement that is easy to implement, has immediate benefit and can be delivered quickly with minimal effort. You don't need to use the model for improvement to make the changes. Essential pre-employment checks that form part of your safe recruitment practices fall into the quick win category. We're doing a series of bite-sized sessions on quick wins to help you make easy changes that will have a positive impact and take minimal time and effort. We will start by looking at some of the most common issues we find with the safe recruitment of staff. These relate to some of the essential pre-employment checks have either not been undertaken or are not undertaken before staff start in employment. The checks we most often find the problems with are protecting vulnerable groups or PVG checks, references and the right checks not undertaken with the Scottish Social Services Council. We will look at ways to help you avoid these issues. This will include tracking the checks you've undertaken, how to use your quality assurance calendar to help manage outstanding checks, the guidance that is available, and how the Scottish Social Services Codes of Practice can support you. One of the common issues we find is that protecting vulnerable group checks or PVGs have not been undertaken before staff start in employment. It is an offence for employers to permit someone who is barred from the relevant workforce to undertake regulated work with children. The only way employers can establish if someone is not barred is to ensure the relevant person is a scheme member by undertaking a PVG check. PVG checks must be undertaken and received before the member of staff starts in employment. Information within the PVG should be used as part of your recruitment decision making process. Before staff start in employment, a minimum of two appropriate and relevant references need to be received. One of these should be from the current or most recent employer if the person has been previously employed. Common problems we find with references are they are not from the current or most recent employer. They are received after the person started an employment, so have not been used as part of the decision making process. They have not been sought by the employers. So, for example, they are generic and addressed to whom it may concern. Or the applicant has requested the reference. In these cases, you can't ensure the authenticity of the reference. Another common issue we find with references is the request does not seek to find out key information, such as disciplinary issues and whether the referee is satisfied the person has the ability and is suitable to undertake the post in question. We find checks with regulatory bodies are often missing. Before staff start, a check needs to be undertaken with the appropriate regulatory body. For most people, this will be the Scottish Social Services Council or SSSC. When checking the SSSC register, this needs to be accessed through My SSSC. This will show if staff are being investigated for any disciplinary matters. A record of the check needs to be kept. 
many people choose to print a copy of the page showing the results of the check. We know a number of services find it helpful to have a system that clearly tracks the progress of checks. This provides a clear audit trail of the dates checks have been requested, when these have been chased up if needed, and when checks have been received back. A system similar to the one shown can be useful. Our tracking system may also include a range of other information. To support you to ensure all the checks are progressing in good time, you may want to add some actions to your quality assurance calendar. This could include when you need to chase up references and when you expect the PVG check to be returned from Disclosure Scotland. This then helps you keep on top of the checks and take any follow-up action needed in good time. In this session, we've looked at some of the essential checks where we often identify issues. The safer recruitment through better recruitment guidance can be found on the Care Inspectorate Hub. This provides detailed information on all aspects of recruitment, including other checks that need to be undertaken, such as identity and qualification checks. The guidance can support you to reflect on your recruitment policy and procedures to ensure you're recruiting people safely. It also helps you focus on how you are ensuring you're employing people with the right skills, experience, qualifications and values. The SSSC Codes of Practice for Employers sets out what is expected of employers in relation to recruiting staff. This includes checking criminal records and registers and following any relevant guidance. The Codes of Practice also include asking for and providing accurate and appropriate references to share information relating to a person's suitability to work in social services. If you are struggling to obtain a reference from another registered service, it is worthwhile to remind them of their responsibilities under the Codes of Practice. A copy of these can be found on the SSSC website. We hope this session has helped you identify changes you can make to support you in recruiting staff safely. If you found this session useful and would like to share it with others, then please feel free to tweet about it using the hashtag ELCImprove. If you would like any more information on our improvement programme, please email us at the address shown on the screen.